Real quickly before I jump into the video, I want to let you guys know about something I'm doing over on my Twitter, that being a little bit of a team up giveaway with Elgato Gaming, in which we're gonna be giving away an HD60S capture card device for one lucky winner here at this one. And having been a partner now for a couple of months with them, I'm really excited to bring you guys this and to be able to give one of these away for you. So if you're a content creator, either just starting out or somebody that's been doing it for a while and want to improve your quality, this is a great opportunity to do so because I firmly believe that Elgato is the best in the market and in the industry for capture card devices. So if you guys want the best possible quality, this is definitely something you want to enter. All you got to do is go over to the link in the description below. It'll take you to a tweet. There's very simple rules with that and really not all that many, but the link is down there if you guys are interested. Hopefully you guys take a look at it and best of luck to anybody that decides to enter. But that said, let's jump right into the regularly scheduled content. So the past two weeks have had the Blitzkrieg events active for all players across all platforms on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. But tomorrow that's actually going to be something that does end out. And so a lot of things are going to be changing this week and therefore I think that we have a lot to talk about in this week of what to look out for in Call of Duty World War 2. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at eight different things that you guys can keep your eyes open for in the next week or so within Call of Duty World War 2 and what you can expect coming out of not only the game but out of the news realm of what will happen as well. So that's it we're going to be talking about those things and letting you guys know everything you need to know so that you can have your mind wrapped around what's to come in this upcoming week. So that said let's jump right into it. The first thing being of course the Blitzkrieg event. That is the biggest one by far that we'll be experiencing within the next week. That's a massive change we'll have because in the past three weeks, we have again had nothing really change gameplay wise other than a few things here and there in terms of say double XP playlists, different contract adjustments, special orders, daily orders, that kind of stuff too. So we've had changes, yes, but this is going to be another big change in the sense that everything is going to revert back to normal. Everything that we see in Call of Duty World War II before events is going to return and so therefore it's a state of normalcy for the game once again. But that said, when we talk about these sorts of things, we also have to be conscious of what this ends up meaning. One of the big things being that collections are going to be locking up as of tomorrow. So at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 6 p.m. GMT, you'll no longer be able to complete the collections for or buy out different pieces of of what you have in the Blitzkrieg collections. Sure, yes, you can still get things out of those supply drops, either Blitzkrieg bribes or things that'll just pop up randomly in supply drops, but you won't be able to collect the actual reward if you complete a collection or be able to buy any of the things that you may need individually. So that's something that if you have the opportunity to do so before then, make sure you do that. Make sure you try and get as many as done as possible. And if you guys do have bribes, they should be working now duplicate protected as they are advertised. And so therefore I'd save those to the very last thing that you decide to open. I opened up about 60 some on stream earlier in the day and therefore that really helped me chip away at some things that may have already been in those Blitzkrieg items that I didn't have beforehand and so those bribes allowed for those other pieces to be completed before going into those dupe protected things so it kind of chipped away at more things that I'd potentially have than if I say open those up first. So that said make sure you take advantage of the collections while you still have the opportunity to do so. Open drops, grind out contracts, whatever it may be. If you guys are interested in any of that, it's going away tomorrow, so make sure you get it in before it's too late. The next thing I want to talk about deals a little bit with what accompanies tomorrow's removal of the Blitzkrieg event, that being a little bit of a game update. Now, this isn't going to be something in which we're probably going to be prompted to actually physically download a patch like we've seen in the past. That was something that happened with the beginning and the end of not only Winter Siege, but also Resistance. We didn't see that for Shamrock and Awe, and we also will not see that for the end of Blitzkrieg. Apparently, that's only going to be a sort of hotfix or game update in the sense where your game will restart, but you don't need to necessarily download a full patch for it. So Sledgehammer also described this as being more of a visual improvement with some optimization for the game being bettered in that sense, not necessarily major content changes. So things like new UI, upcoming orders and contracts, headquarter map optimizations, meaning we may actually see HQ247's playlist kept and possibly ground war as well. Then also leaderboard filtering and theater performance, as well as other promotional updates for different events in the future. Those are things that are going to be tackled within this update. So it's not going to be exactly what you necessarily think about, but it is going to be a change nonetheless and an update that is going to be requiring you to restart your game at some point tomorrow whenever you log on. So it's a little more on the smaller scale of things that you can expect, but something to expect nonetheless on that front. Now, talking about that though, in the sense of an update, the next thing I want to mention is some hotfix changes that may occur. 
Now, I didn't say there isn't anything that's going to be super substantial in the fact that it's going to require a patch or really any patch notes, but there may actually be some changes that are real quick fixes and patches to some issues in the game. Some things, including those of the issues that were addressed by Sledgehammer a couple of days ago over on Reddit, in which they talked about a massive list of known issues, known problems that they were either investigating or already working on, or potentially even pushing out fixes for. So some things that are still rather prominent are the spectator spawning issue, the war audio bugs, other things like that that are, again, on the smaller scale and don't necessarily require a major title update, but they can be fixed around with a quick hotfix like that is going to be happening tomorrow. Keep an eye out for some of those major things that may actually be getting adjusted as of tomorrow's update. So that's something that, again, is possible. I don't know if it's confirmed or anything, but I definitely keep an eye out for that. The next thing is a little bit speculative, but something that I would look out for in the sense of it only makes sense timing-wise in what we've seen so far. So for those of you guys that have really been paying attention to the daily orders for weapons in Major Howards, we've had a lot of different weapons thrown in, and we really haven't seen any rotation start over in the sense that we have no repeating weapon variants that we've seen already, save for the M1928 Handler, but that was a daily one the other day, but it was weekly before. So it didn't really have the same crossover effect. So we haven't really started the same rotation over, but I would anticipate some new weapon variants being added in tomorrow. They might not necessarily be unlockable tomorrow, but they are what I would expect to be in those classifications and added in as we saw with a couple of weeks ago. I believe it was two weeks ago, we saw a new little mini weapon update that saw those weapons of the BAR, the M1928, the Car 98K, the Lewis, the Combat Shotgun, the M30, the P. 08 and the 1911 all have new variants added in, while other weapons didn't necessarily get any updates or anything like that. So I would anticipate maybe this is once again when we see this because it only makes sense timing wise if we're going to have an update to the game, even though it is labeled as only being a little bit more cosmetic in the user interface of World War II. But it's something that I would definitely anticipate because again, timing wise, it makes perfect sense and we're running low on what we still need in terms of new weapon variants that we have out of the orders right now. Next up on the list is the actual community contract and community challenge, whatever you want to call it. That's actually, by the time potentially even watch this, it may be completed already. I know we talked about a couple of days ago and a couple of weeks back now at this point since it started that we were kind of behind schedule. And that's one thing that is really perplexing me is that we caught up very fast in the last couple of days. Something that I almost questioned if we ended up getting a bump from Sledgehammer. I can't really confirm or deny that. I have no idea, but it just is like, that is kind of crazy how we were averaging 2 million less per day about a week and a half ago to now being able to almost complete it about 12 hours earlier than what was anticipated to even end the event off. So I'm really interested to see what this ends up happening, at what time we end up completing it, but we probably are going to complete it by the end date of tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's something that if you end up logging on or having logged on beforehand already, you'll have some time in the very near future, the Rosie 2 variant to redeem in the mail station itself. So as it stands right now, if you have not collected your other stuff, you can do that too, but it's something that the Rosie 2 will be there available Hopefully, assuming that all things just continue at the pace that they are and they don't completely die off, that'll be something that is completed as well coming within the next 24 hours. So keep your eyes open for that. Definitely get some action in with that as well if you end up getting it. But that moves us over into the next thing I wanna talk about and that is potentially the new weapon contract. Now this last week we had the Gewehr 43 as the weapon contract of 4,000 armory credits. Before that, it was the ice pick for I think 2,000. Then before that was the GPMG. And I can't remember exactly what was before that off the top of my head. But we've seen things that almost resemble that of a new pattern here with this. So my guess is that this upcoming week we see maybe Maybe the Sten or the Trench Knife coming up, but we may actually move over into the Resistance weapons as well and see the Volkstrom Gewehr or another one added in instead. That's something that's very possible as well, but my basis is on the idea of that we've seen a lot of the Winter Siege items added in via this weapon contract as of recently, and it seems like we're almost going in a collection by collection manner. We had these weapons that were added in for Winter Siege, then maybe the ones that are for Resistance added in, then maybe the ones that are for Shamrock and Awe, and so on and so forth. So that's something that we may see that pattern now emerge, but regardless of what it is, it's probably going to be around 4,000 armory credits and about a two hour time window in which you can end up completing it. So that's something to keep your eye out for if that is something you like to get those base weapon variants for the DLC weapons if you don't have any of them already. So keep an eye out for that. 
Now the next two things are sheerly speculative and I have absolutely no idea if this is going to happen as such, but it's something that I would like you to maybe keep a little bit of attention on if at all possible. The first of those two things being the domination adjustment and potentially that actually launching. With the update tomorrow, like we said, going live for more so user interface things, it would actually be a timely manner to launch Domination 75. We heard a few weeks back from Sledgehammer their actual reasoning on why Domination 75 would be that compromised points per kill in the standard mode of Domination, not bringing back Domination XL or keeping it at Domination 50, but instead making it the moving forward total of 75 points per kill, and so that that would be the readjustment of it. We didn't end up seeing out of that though any indication on when it would come, and since then we haven't seen any indication at all either. So that's something that with an update coming tomorrow, it would make sense to throw it in. I just don't know if it's completed or anything. So that might be something we end up seeing with tomorrow's update or maybe with a little bit of a blog update later on in the week, to which that brings me to the final point that I wanna mention is potentially the Master Prestige reward updates that have been promised for a little bit of time now. We once again saw this in another blog update as of recently, but I wouldn't necessarily expect this to come in the game, but more so of a little bit more of an explanation in the update for Friday's blog post from Sledgehammer officially, detailing potentially the ideas they have and how they will implement them and getting the feedback from the community in that regard. I wouldn't necessarily imagine them being jumped up in the timetable and implemented tomorrow, but who knows, maybe that does happen in which case I'd be totally cool with it as well, but that's something that I would definitely anticipate to come sometime soon, maybe this week even. So that said, that is going to be where we wrap up this video here at this, so hopefully you guys found this insightful. Again, eight things to keep an eye out for this week. Some things confirmed, some things not necessarily, but kind of probable, and some things just maybe ideas to keep an eye out for as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular out of this you guys are looking forward to? Is there anything you want to add on to the list that you can look out for that I maybe missed? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know down there in the comment section down below. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II, anything in regards to updates, news, best class setups, tips, tricks, information, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel, so if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected from outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm trying to get more active over there as well, so that link is also in the description. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Might as well espresso. Thanks all so much for watching. Take care and peace.